Hello everybody, it's Tom and Jerry Fan 64 here, and I apologize for the noise in the background. You're just gonna have to ignore it. It's now time to do a movie review for a movie, an, a horror movie that I finally watched. And the movie I'm gonna be reviewing is the very first Hellraiser movie. The reason why I decided to watch this movie is because the new one is coming out. There's gonna be a reboot that's gonna uh, um, that's gonna turn Pinhead into a female. I think Pinhead is one of the okay. one of the more scary and most iconic movie villains since Freddy Krueger and Jason Voorhees. This is a great movie. Probably one of my favorite horror movies besides besides uh, Halloween. This is a great movie. It's definitely nightmare fueled, but it's a really really great movie. So yeah. And I was going to do the video game reviews I was going to do, but I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait for for another time. I'll probably wait. Those are going to have to be delayed. And so will the the Mickey and Donald Goofy movie, The Three Musketeers, because I only saw bits and pieces. I only saw, um, I saw the majority of it, but not the beginning. So I'm going to have to watch that one all the way through. So yeah, Hellraiser, and this is the original 1987 movie. I'm going to title this Hellraiser 1987 Movie Review, so that's when, I, that, when this video uploads, that's what it's, the video is going to be called. And I, like I said, there is going to be a reboot that's going to be, because Spyglass Media, from Spyglass Media Group, because Spyglass Media Group bought the Hellraiser franchise. So yeah, and excuse my language, but there is, there, I don't consider hell a bad word, honestly. So yeah. But that's off topic. I will probably watch the 1988 sequel, Hellbound Hellraiser 2. I'm going to probably watch that either tomorrow or Tuesday. I'm probably going to watch it on Tuesday. Probably. So yeah, this is a great horror movie. One of the best horror movies ever. It's not as good as Halloween, and it's not as good as Scream. And it's certainly not as good as Candyman, but this was still a great movie. I might like this more than Candyman, but I don't know. I think Candyman is a better film. But this is a great movie. Kind of a bit controversial, too. So, yeah. This is a great movie. So, yeah, I'm going to give the original 1987 movie Hellraiser a 10 out of 10 stars and an A-. minus. I do hope to get all of the Hellraiser movies. Even though I heard the only good ones are the first two. I heard the third one was decent, but I heard the rest of them sucked. But I will... I will watch all of them. I'm not going to review all of them at the, right, right now because... And I will try to watch the Hell, Hellraiser 3... Hellraiser 3... I don't know what the title is for the third film, but I will watch that one on Wednesday. So, yeah. Like I said, I'm going to give the new... The, the original Hellraiser a 10 out of 10 stars and an A-. minus. If you guys haven't seen this movie, I highly recommend it, but it's not appropriate for younger viewers. So yeah, I I recommend this movie to like eight, 18 year olds or 20 years old or 21 because this movie is not the for the faint of heart. So yeah, that is it for my review to the original 1987 movie Hellraiser. And I do hope to get all these movies, the first three on VHS and the uh, other films, which I can't, I, I don't, I can't name right now. So yeah, that is it for my review to the movie Hellraiser, the original in which I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you're generous enough, please consider leaving a like on this video and subscribe, plus it really helps out. And I'll see you guys all in my next video. Bye everybody, adios.